What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's going to be a pretty quick one. We have some exciting news. If you log into your Tesla website and you have the dual motor Model 3 non-performance, you will see a new upgrade available. For just over $2,000, you can upgrade your acceleration and make your car go from 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds instead of 4.4 seconds. Yes, that's right. This is the first time Tesla has offered an acceleration specific upgrade like this. And me personally, I am not going to buy it. All right, there is one condition. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do it. I'll spend the two grand uh, and I will get the acceleration boost. As long as you're on build 2019.40.2 or later, it seems like pretty much instantly you will get this acceleration increase. Now, a few reasons I don't want to buy it. Number one, of course, it's really expensive. Uh, you know, if you really think about it, though, it's really cool that you can get such a huge performance improvement. And for $2,000, you know, to me, that's ridiculous. But to a lot of people, they pour a lot of money into their cars doing tiny little upgrades here and there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at the dogs. Um, doing tiny little upgrades. <laughs> Um, doing little upgrades here and there uh, to make their cars just go that tiny little bit faster, especially if they're into racing and all that kind of different stuff. So the fact that you can just put down this $2,000, you're guaranteed to get that performance increase. You know exactly what you're getting. If you're into that kind of stuff, it is a really good deal. Reasons I don't want it besides purely cost is number one, uh, tires. These cars already go through tires pretty quick and that's just like another cost is tires. Uh, you're going to go through them faster if you're utilizing this zero to 60 often, which if you're going to pay $2,000, I hope you're going to use it a lot. Another thing is it is technically a little worse for your... <laughs> I'm laughing at the dogs. Another thing is technically it is a little worse for your battery. Having energy go into and out of the battery faster is worse for it. Uh, theoretically, now practically, will this make a huge difference? Maybe after 200,000 miles, we'll see some extra degradation for these uh, people who have gotten this upgrade. But really, there's no way to know until people get this upgrade. And then a few years later, we'll, we'll see the effects of that. But classic Tesla, you know, they release this stuff. They don't say anything to anybody. I guess they expect <laughs> us YouTubers to be, you know, spreading the news to you. And I am more than happy to do that. It's always so fun. If you have a dual motor, uh, are you going to get this? Or if you're thinking of buying a Tesla or just pretend you had this car, would you pay for this upgrade? What about you, Standard Range? Hey, shh. What about you standard range, standard range plus, uh, medium range people? Uh, would you get this if you had the option for 2000 bucks? Would you make your zero to 60 faster? Oh, also long range rear wheel drive. Sorry, I kind of forgot about you guys. So overall, really nice uh, that we actually even have that option. Um, but for me personally, uh, I don't know. I don't think uh, I don't think I want to do that. If this video actually gets 10,000 likes, I'm going to be in so much trouble. I did not clear this with my wife first. She's asleep and I wanted to get this video out. So if I do actually have to buy this, she may not be that excited. This video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. If we do get 10,000 likes, they can help me pay for this upgrade. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything site wide. Link to their website is in the description. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I look forward to talking to you down in the comments. You will see me in the next video. And if you're still watching, congratulations, you've made it this far. Uh, I'm doing something new with my videos at the end. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a comment, just some whatever random comment. Maybe it'll be the top voted one on a video or just whatever I want. And I'm going to answer that at the end. I'm going to give you a personalized answer to that comment. So let's check out the first comment for this little addition. All right, so this will be kind of a controversial one. This comes from Tesla Challenge number 13. 78 in the left lane is fine. You're already speeding. People have no business going 85 plus in the passing lane. If you need to go that fast to pass someone, then you shouldn't be passing anyway. It's not their personal autobahn. Excessive speed is dangerous to everyone. Well, in my opinion, if somebody's behind you and they want to go faster, that's their business. I really don't want to interact with them. So I always move out of the left lane if I can, if I have room and can safely do that. I'll let them go 100. I don't care. It's pretty dangerous, but I'd rather just not be interacting with them at all. Let them pass and hope there's a cop ahead to take care of them. You go ahead and also respond to that comment below. All right. Thanks, guys.